Well, hello, my name is Keaton Russell, and welcome to Keaton's Outdoor Adventures. Today, I got some interesting news, because a lot of people tell me this is, um, I, I, this is probably going to be a little bit of a surprise for it, but, um, when, you know, one of the most beloved lakes I go fishing at is called Romrose Lake, right? Now, a lot of people say that, oh, Romrose Lake is private. But that's not from, that could not be farther from the truth. It's actually Government Lake. It is, and I will show you um, in a second here. But as like, and like it is a Government Lake, and um, I'm going to show you right now. So this is my Fish Angler app. It will show you that as I as you'll see that Romrose Lake is not. A private lake but a government lake which if I look it up as you can see right there Romrose Lake and if and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to put it on a view here to prove the fact that it's a government lake which um here I'll do this right now and um, if you can see you'll see in a minute here it will have a map around the lake titling it that it's government. Yeah, as you can see, it's a government lake. But also, people might say, well, why is the name Romrose Lake? But Romrose is actually just like Payne Lake. Payne Lake was originally called Mammy Lake. And the re reason why they changed it to Payne Lake is the original owner was had the last name Payne. And so they said, well, why don't we do it out of respect? That's the same thing with Romrose. Even though the government bought it, like bought the lake to make it, bought an area to make the lake. And a lot of people think it's, you know, it's, it's private. But, you know, that's the reason why it's called Romrose. I even called the fish in my life and a lot of like, they all said, they all said it's, it's a government lake, which um, as, as you can see on the app, it is government, and also I will tell you another thing. Um, if which uh, if you heard, Romrose is denying you road access to to there, except for I did get permission myself. I do have the text in on my phone and proving that I can I can go fishing, I can go fishing there, and I can drive right to the to the dam. But also I will I will tell you something. I heard this a while ago, and I don't know if it's true or not. You might have to look into it. But I also heard, because you, if you ever notice when, when you're trespassing the fish, you're you're either taking, like, how do I say it? Um, you know how sometimes when you go on people's property, right? Like, you go on people's property to fish, and you're not trespassing because there's a road access. And a lot of places come in my understanding especially alberta are supposed to have a road access and if they don't if a if a landowner doesn't let you have the road access then the thing is is that they will actually say you know know what they'll say is they'll say you can drive right through that property go right through it without permission if it's a government lake proven as you know, I showed you, but I so showed you, but as I was saying, um, I, I know it's a government lake, but I also don't know if that's a real law. That's what I've heard. Check it out. I, I've heard that directly. I remember, um, what was it? My, one of my friends was denying road access and a person went right through their property fishing and they called the fish and wildlife years ago. And they said, no, he has a right away. So just saying. So, yeah, as you can see, Romrose Lake is a government lake. And enjoy fishing there. You're allowed to keep three no-size limit. And I think you're allowed to use bait. Yep, you are. And it's pretty good. So thanks yep. for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.